in Marvel Stadium. Not long ago, he was on the podium. Let's see if he can latch on to Cooper Webb, learn a little bit, and try and get away. And these guys aren't doing many laps. They're going to do eight laps, so it's going to go by pretty quick. Aaron Tanti has looked very good. However, he just hasn't been able to string it together uh, for an entire night. He's had some issues along the way, but his speed is unquestionable. Certainly able to run up there. Looking at our scoring, Hunter Lawrence back in 16th place as we see Joey Savacci on screen. Yeah, Savacci up to sixth right now. And, and remember, he's got a championship to win, so how much is he going to push it? Jet Lawrence launching that single, trying to get to the inside of Jed Beaton. Savachi in sixth right now, Jed in seventh, Jet Lawrence up to eight. This is a great battle going on between these riders here. Moss is in the thick of it as well as they launch into this triple all wide for that rider in front of Moss. That was Mel Ross. He was unable on, off the track altogether. Cloud and Savachi together as well as we see Moss back. I'm oh, sorry, Mel Ross. Coming back on the track, where did Sabachi come from? Sabachi making some moves quick. Now he just went, I think Melross was off track. He just went past Moss and Plow into the number three position. So these two riders starting to check out. They don't have enough time to let these riders get away like this. Quickest lap of the race, 56.35 by our race leader, Cooper Webb, starting to stretch that lead out. Cooper Webb has absolutely disappeared, but how about this batter now? Caught launching that single to the flat, trying to get up alongside Matt Moss. And I'll tell you what, we've watched Mossy all season long. He has not ridden like this. No, this, this is a new Matt Moss here tonight. Jet trying to go around Cloudy. Cloudy back up to the inside. Oh, beautifully read by Jet. Squares it back up, gets back to his inside. It manages to put it up one more place. In to fourth now for that rider. On the 18 or 5th, I apologize. Look at Jet's wood speed right there. It goes right down the inside of Moss, able to get up alongside of him. Moss, he goes 2-3-2. Two, two. Jet goes 2-2-3, two, two, up the inside. <laughs> they come together a little bit right there. Yeah, well, I think those lines really just come together, right, because they have nowhere else that they can turn. But finally, the pass is made by Lawrence. Bounces off the top of that tabletop, up and over the next one. So he moves up and now has his eyes set on Savachi in front of him. And where has Tanti gone? Tanti has pulled away from these guys. He's doing 58-0 second lap time. That's faster than everybody except for Cooper Webb. Cooper Webb in the 56s right now. He's two seconds a lot faster than anybody on track. And I think we just lost Lout by the look of it. I tipped over just after that thing, uh, Cody Ross. The start straight. Impressed with Tanti. As I said, he's been looking so fast this year, but he just hasn't been able to put it together for the entire night. So there's no questioning that speed, and we're seeing it right now. He is only four seconds behind our race leader. He does have a gap over Savachi with four laps still to go. Yeah, really, really impressed with Aaron Tanti right here. Obviously, a championship contender coming into the season has yet to quite live up to that. Here's Cooper Webb on screen. 57-2 last lap around. 56-3 is his best. Compare that to Jet Lawrence's best. 57-4. So a second better than, than Jet's fastest. Obviously Jet has been coming through the pack. But still, Cooper Webb is on fire. Down the start straight is Aaron Tanti as we try to see in the background of these because there is still a good battle going on with Savachi and Lawrence behind this rider here who is well and truly in a comfort zone right now, basically riding his own race. We just caught a glimpse of it on the right-hand side of the screen. That battle just behind is really heating up between these two riders. There he is. Watch the Lawrence to the inside here. Good run through the woods. And he's got him. Savachi, so can he square it up? up? Yeah, so Hammy, Savachi squared it up, went back by, and Tanti better get going because these guys, although they're going to kind of battle with each other and let Tanti pull back away, but I'll tell you what, Jet's around there to the inside. Now Tanti better get going because Jet's on the move. Well, this is the opportunity for Savachi to really jump onto the back wheel here and try and learn some new lines, see what is being done differently because... That guy in front of him, the fastest that we saw out on track earlier on, really has some things up his sleeve. He does, yeah. Just the way he gets around a Supercross track, 
all the little things he does so well that you can barely tell with your eye. Like I mentioned earlier, the clipping, he barely clips the jumps or doesn't clip them at all most of the time. They're right there. Lands perfect in the transition, jumps into that roller, continues his forward momentum, and watch this loop speed right here. Still not too far back off the back of these riders is Matt Moss, who's managed to hold on, and you can see Lawrence there just stretching out the lead as he skips across to the top of the whoops. We are getting to the tail end of this race. Two laps to go. Ben, it's going to be tough for Lawrence to catch up to Tanti right now. Yeah, Tanti's riding really, really well. The last lap around for Tanti was a 58.8 to Jet Lawrence's 57.3. So Jet's definitely pulling up on him. But like you said, two laps remaining. And this guy, wow. You know, the, the one thing that we've talked about with Cooper Webb for a long time is, one, is his speed. Two, can he get the starts with Jet Lawrence? Well, he answered that question early on tonight, getting that whole shot with authority, too, as he moves towards the finish line. He will be greeted with the last lap board around this time. Just to the right screen again, you could see that battle is getting close between Lawrence and Tanti. The big run across the whoops are here from Lawrence to close it right down towards that last turn to the inside. Beautiful line. He will take control of this. Oh, oh Tanti! Tanti with a big get off. Looks like he's okay running back to his bike. It looked like he came up short there. And it's a, probably a part of the track we're not really seeing at the moment because there's a lot of different runs. Here's the replay. Watch for Tanti to the outside. Just a little wide. Yeah, it looks like he got off balance on a run and it just shot him off to the side. Yeah, he just cross-roaded right there. Went to the left, shot him off to the edge of the track. Goes down pretty hard. What a bummer because he was so impressive really up until that point. Cooper Webb, a lonely ride out in the front. It's a perfect way to start his campaign here in Australia. The Oz X Open with only one in Marvel Stadium. Not long ago, he was on the podium. Let's see if he can latch on to Cooper Webb, learn a little bit, and try and get away. And these guys aren't doing many laps. They're going to do eight laps, so it's going to go by pretty quick. Aaron Tanti has looked very good. However, he just hasn't been able to string it together uh, for an entire night. He's had some issues along the way, but his speed is unquestionable. Certainly able to run up there. Looking at our scoring, Hunter Lawrence back in 16th place as we see Joey Savacci on screen. Yeah, Savacci up to 6th right now. And, and remember, he's got a championship to win, so how much is he going to push it? Jet Lawrence launching that single, trying to get to the inside of Jet Beaton. Savachi in 6th right now, Jed in 7th, Jet Lawrence up to 8th. This is a great battle going on between these riders here. Moss is in the thick of it as well as they launch into this triple all wide by that rider in front of Moss. That was Mel Ross. He was unable on, off the track altogether. Cloud Savachi together as well as we see Moss back, I'm oh, sorry, Mel Ross. Coming back onto the track, where did Sabachi come from? Sabachi making some moves quick. Now he just went, I think Melross was off track. He just went past Moss and Clout into the number three position. So these two riders starting to check out. They don't have enough time to let these riders get away like this.